In this video, we'll take a look at Rogue and Adaptive Wireless Intrusion Prevention System, in short, AWIPS. Here are the prerequisites. Make sure that you have the application package for Rogue and AWIPS is installed. One can check that under Installed Apps. So make sure that Rogue and AWIPS is installed. And the second one is make sure that your controllers are added to DNA Center and shows up as monitored state in DNA Center Assurance. So one can go and check that under Assurance, Health, Network. Make sure that your controllers are online and in monitored state. So here are the deployment options that's available for Rogue and AWIPS. And here are the list of signatures and threats that we support for Rogue and AWIPS. Let's dive into the Rogue Management Dashboard. One can do that by getting into Assurance and Rogue and AWIPS. This is the dashboard for Rogue and AWIPS. So there are options to enable and disable AWIPS and Rogue. And you can also check the status by clicking on status button. And also there is option to see a global geo map, which will give you high threats information. If you're multi-sided environment, this will give you a holistic view of complete high threats in different sites. One can also do time travel. You can go back in time for the last 14 days in bits of seven. Let's click on last 24 hours. One can also use this slider to filter threat information to a specific period of time. And also this chart will give you information about high threats over time as well. And this will also give you a quick summary of number of active threats on your network. Let's get into the threat table. And here are the list of uh, threats that's on your network. And let's click on one of the threat. And this will take us to the Threat 360 page. This will give you information about the threat level, the type of threat, and the current status of the threat, along with vendor information. And we also give you the location of the threat. If you have CMX integrated, we give you the precise location. And if you do not have CMX, we still show the location of the threat closer to the access point, which has strongest signal strength. We also reduce the complexity by aggregating rogue APs with multiple SSIDs into a single thread. And uh, here we give you the list of deductions along with the clients. If there are any rogue clients connected to that access point, we give you that list as well. Let's click on rogue on wire thread. We have written multi vendor algorithms where we do DSSID to Ethernet MAC address mapping to identify the rogue on wire thread. And another prerequisite is we have to make sure that all the switches are also added to DNA center. So this is the threat 360 page for rogue on wire where we give you information like the threat type, the vendor information and last reported time. Also we provide you information about the switch port detail like the switch name along with the IP address and the interface to which the rogue API is connected as well. Let's take a look at AWIPS thread. So we pretty much show all the information like we do for all other threads. And finally, let's take a look at the audit log capability that we have for rogue and AWIPS. So here you can see that there is an audit log being logged in where we enabled telemetry subscription for Rogue and we give you information about the user who did this operation and the time information as well. So this brings us to the end of yet another video and thanks for watching.